Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. So my name is Kyle and uh, my position is like Kyle of all trades because I do a little bit of everything, but mainly I am the lead tech. So I follow up with the customers and the clients and I do all the paperwork and all the fun stuff out in the field. I have worked for Spalton Decon for a year, which is why I'm balding. You're gonna see like all my back sweat, I got my boob sweat. I'm hot, I'm tired, I'm really hungry. <laughs> I think it's really cool to bring awareness to what we do. We're kind of the people in the back burner. Nobody knows what we do. They do now. But a lot of people always thought, hey, it's the fireman's job. Hey, it's the police officer's job to get this done. It's not. There's a whole special group of people that are there helping. And now people finally see and realize that these people do exist. One of our comments was, not all heroes wear capes, some wear Tyvek suits. I loved it. Man. I literally almost this job out. is not for the weak, let me tell you. It is not for the weak. Holy mother of wow. I truly love what I do. I mean, I'm helping the living, but I'm also helping the deceased as well. The oddest thing, having a camera crew. That's kind of the oddest thing. Somebody just creepily, stalkingly following us around, like getting me picking my nose or, you know, playing with my tummy after I've eaten Chipotle. Or, Juan serenading me. He took the HEPA vacuum hose after we got it out of the van and sang the hell out of some music to me. Uh, my name is Juan Valencia. I'm a um, cleaning tech here in Spolini. I have been here for 18 months, I think, yeah. We're doing really good, like how it smells so good, it smells so good. Nice. <laughs> Juan, what are you doing right now? I'm waiting for Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> I like the crime scene jobs. They are so fun. I like this because I'm a nurse and I like blood and stuff like that. So. In my family, nobody knows this kind of job. So everybody's like, what? What, what are you doing there? So that's the weird uh, thing in this job. I like the moment when uh, the first uh, buy a job when we were um, taking out the tile with blood. It was the important moment, yeah. Uh, that series are so amazing. I love it. They are so good. I'm working, that's my normal day, and somebody is uh, with the camera. I'm not used to it. So that's weird. My problem is, is because I don't, I don't have a good English, but that's fine. I'm learning and I'm teaching too. I'm learning English and I'm teaching Spanish. How are you doing today? 
started in really good. <laughs> yeah, it is good. I don't know why, but I'm so happy today. <laughs> I like when my co-workers are fighting. <laughs> I love it. I like drama. Oh, it's something retarded. How am I doing something retarded? Because there's no point in taking it down. Okay, well, if, if Kyle or Laura want it that way, then that's what they'll get. But you're not the fucking boss, alright? Dude, I am a lead! No, you're not. Yes, I am! No. Kyle, should you tell this man I am a lead? Right. I'm not saying shit. Yeah, the uh, petty argument, yeah, that was well, that was one of my worst moments because I usually try not to let people uh, take me that far where I need to argue with them about something so petty. You got to turn that into a meme. Ew! Ew! <laughs> Ew. She didn't get that. <laughs> it's a bag. He tried to do. He tried to hit me. I was he, trying to add he smarts. Was trying to, Abuse me, he abuses me. I was trying to add smarts. I feel like I'm working, that is so. Uh, a job. I don't feel like you're working either. <laughs> My name is uh, Bennett Williams. I'm a tech at Spalding Decom. Uh, I've worked here about uh, five months, six months now. Uh, I could taste it. It's in my mouth. It bleeped in my, it bleeped in my ear, and I was like, ha. That's why I said, ha. Uh, so when. It comes to Cal, um, I look at Cal as someone, if I need help with something, if I don't know what to do about something, I could go to him and talk to him, and uh, he's good at figuring, like, figuring it out. Um, me and Juan's relationship, me and Juan is like, um, Juan is like, when you're on a job, it's like you can feed off of one. He's good to feed off. Like he, like automatically, is like, boom, get to work. People never think there's uh, people that go clean. Spalding and Decon is here, and we here to help um, people through any situation, and um, we. We'll get the job done. We'll get the job done right and um, put um, our customers' mind at ease. They had a whole argument about was Cal gay and it, why does it matter if he's gay and <coughs> they, it was just, I think it was like 50, 50 comments just on what Cal's sexuality was and why does it matter. It, it's just like when you see it, you're like, why does it matter if he's gay? I hate I don't, I don't understand why people are so hateful. I know there's people out there name calling and things like that, but it's really uncalled for. Um, each of us are individual. I am the only gay man that works for Spalding. Um, my sexuality has nothing to do with my job and my passion for helping lives and changing lives. Um, but I, I, do not care so much for all of the hateful comments. Thank goodness that most of them get flagged and I only see a part of them, but I don't ever let it bring me down because the people that are judging me are also judging themselves. You know, you're always gonna get trolls on anything you do. Somebody's always gonna have 
something negative to say about anything like so but if you really feel that way why are you watching why did you watch why did you uh like take time out of your day to comment if you really had a problem with it people don't know like they might think oh we just putting on a show for the camera but we're always like even when the camera's not there we're joking and we're always like this like this is our real personality like we uh laura and kyle their banner like that is like that even when the camera's not around they're they joke like that all the time like apple yeah scared shit out of you. oh my god apples did you know they're like Ferocious in some countries. They have, they have teeth. You're so stupid. Back <laughs> that ass up and let me see what you got. Like, um, we uh always trying to learn Spanish from Juan. Mmm, deliciosa. No, delicioso. 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 You're done? That's it? Yeah. What is that? Finito? No. Finito. Terminado. Terminado. Or finalizado. Finito. Gonna try it. And like certain things we do, we do that even when the camera's not around. Like there's nothing that we do on camera that we don't do normally. So it's like it's whatever like it's a great it's a great opportunity for people to see what's going on you guys are awesome like subscribe share